In the spring of 2022, the Social Security Administration launched a new online tool that records your request to start an SSI application. The new online scheduling tool, the Social Security Administration says, is just one more way of making an SSI application more accessible. Advocates are saying make the whole application available online, and that is still to come. Right now, it's pretty limited who can apply for SSI online. Typically, people seeking SSI benefits were directed to call Social Security or go in person to do their application. You could apply online if all of the following conditions were true. You were between the ages of 18 and 65, never married, have not previously applied for SSI, and are also applying at the same time for Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. What's new is this new online scheduling tool. Social Security launched their online scheduling tool as an option to request an appointment to apply for SSI. The first step is to let the Social Security Administration know that you or someone you know wants to file an SSI application. You can do this for yourself or for somebody else. The earlier Social Security knows you want to apply for SSI, the more benefits you may be eligible to receive. So getting the process started earlier was important. Anyone can make the request online and Social Security tells us it takes just about five minutes to do so. When you visit the Social Security website, you're going to click Get Started, and we link to this page in the description below. And you're going to enter basic information, name, date of birth, Social Security number of the person interested in SSI, and some contact information. If you are filling out the form on behalf of somebody else, you're going to put your contact information as well. After you complete this online request, a Social Security representative will contact you to schedule an appointment to help get that application for benefits completed. You can read more on this new online scheduling tool. We link to resources from the Social Security Administration in the description below.